If you could picture, you know what a, a grain of wheat is like. You have the, the stem and the wheat grows, and around each grain of wheat is chaff. All success has chaff, which basically means every bit of progress we make has something to be discarded. And not knowing that has us actually embrace things that the Lord is wanting to free us from. They're not evil things. They're just unnecessary things. And I can, I can just feel it. I, I wish I had better language, but it won't leave me alone, so I'm not going to... I'm going to keep talking until I say something. That's what Larry Randolph used to tell him. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking until I say something. I believe that the Lord would bring us into a place of personal intimacy and personal breakthrough tonight, not someday, but actually right now tonight, in, in, a, in a way that's fresh for us. Every one of us, there's a door to freshness. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean where I was was wrong. It just means there's more, and I have to leave something behind to get there. See, you can only live where you've died. And so when he invites us to come deeper, there's actually that abandonment that we come with. We come with that abandonment, that surrender. It, it doesn't mean even necessarily that anything is wrong. It just means that sometimes we hold to things that are simply unnecessary in the purpose and the plan of God in our life. In Revelation, chapter 2 is the passage about first love. And the Lord speaks to the church at Ephesus, and he compliments them first for what they've done right. They were a church that understood spiritual authority, unusually so. They were able to spot false apostles. They were able to bring adjustment to order and structure. They did it well. But in the structuring of things, they lost the passion. They had good order. They had a good understanding of government. But there's this strange thing about government in the Bible. Government's not bad. Government is, is absolutely righteous and ordained of God. But the, the, one of the unusual pictures of government in the Bible is when the book of Revelation has this unusual, strange picture of the bride coming down out of heaven four square, 1,500 by 1,500 by 1,500. It's just the most unusual picture. And it gets kind of confusing until you realize that all structure is supposed to come out of romance. It's keeping things tender. It's keeping things simple. The Apostle Paul talked about the simplicity of devotion to Christ. It's one of my most favorite phrases that he uses, the simplicity of devotion. The problem with maturity is you can become impressed by your own growth. It's still all by grace. On my best day, it's only by grace. It's all by grace. 